Hey cutie pies, I am Lanikia and you are watching what happened on the soaps. This is the Young and the Restless edition. Today is Friday, yay, August the 18th, 2023. On a scale of one to 10, I'm, I'm just gonna have to give it a six. It was solid. You know, it was for Friday, it was a solid episode. Let's get into it. We see Diane and Jack. So Diane tells Jack, listen, I am choosing to look on the bright side of things and I hope that this feud, that this Ab Abbott family drama and feud could be ended. Ashley has her share of her Jabot, um, her part of the company, you know, and she's moving on with her new company and she's married to Tucker now. So she just hopes that all of this feud can end. Jack is not as optimistic about it. And so what ends up happening, Diane breaks out a post snub and she said, listen, I'm clearing up all the rumors for all you people that think that I married Jack because I'm um, somewhere scheming and trying to get my, my hands on Jabot or his money or anything. I'm clearing up the rumors. Michael wrote this up. So that should tell you how solid it is because Michael did it, right? And she said, so Jack signed this. And he's like, no, girl, I love you. I don't want people to know that, you know, I don't want Ashley to win. And she's like, it's not about Ashley winning. Honest to goodness. Honest to goodness. I'm so sick of this. <laughs> I'm so sick of this war between Ashley and Jack. Like, please let it end. And so he was like, I don't want her to win. And she was like, it's not about winning. I want to walk in the room with my head held high and be able to tell people, see, I told you so. I told you I wasn't waiting for his money. I'm with this man because I want to be with this man. And so if I walk away, I walk away with nothing. I walk away with what I came in the marriage with. That's it. That's all. That's period. I said, well, okay, Diane. So Jack didn't want to sign it, but she gets him to sign it. And what does Jack do? He sends a copy to Ashley. I said, Jack, why are you so childish? Honestly, Jack, Ashley, this whole thing is so dang childish. I Please make it in. If, if Diane, first of all, if Diane really came into town and she had done nothing wrong, why have y'all dragged this storyline out for a year? Y'all have been dragging this out for a year about, oh, every time, you know, we're like, okay, well, maybe Diane isn't doing anything, then y'all have a secret come out. And be like, okay, well, maybe Diane isn't doing anything, and then y'all be like, oh, now we want her to get this, sign this post up. And so then we go over to Ashley and Tucker. And she upset y'all because she said, where you go last night? I think I made a mistake. She's sitting in that chair looking gorgeous, crying. <laughs> it don't get no better than Ashley. Um, but she's sitting in that chair looking gorgeous and crying like, oh, Lord, I married this man and he ain't changed where you go last night. And he was like, oh, I went down to the bar for a drink. She said, I saw you go into Audra's room. He said, well, hold on now. Let me let me go ahead and explain what was going on. So he so he breaks down and he tells her all about the whole thing where Adam was um, about the rock star um, uh, and everything with Adam and Nate and, and, um, Audra and, you know, just everything that was going on with that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And so she's like, okay, so you were trying to protect us. And he was like, yes, I would, I want to, I, this was not going to be look good for our company starting new and them seeing that we covered up something like th that. I had covered up something like this. He said, even though I wasn't running the company at that time, really, but they still would have attached that to my name and I couldn't have that. For at simply Ashley, and she was like, "Okay, okay." So then, um, they're just like, Tucker told, just told Ashley, "I'm tired of the fighting. I'm tired of the fighting. I just want like, can we just be, can we just be a married couple and let all this go?" And she said, "So she was about to talk to him, and then she gets a little text day and took her hands on her phone, and she said, "Oh, this is um, look what Jack sent me a post up." He said, and um, she was like, I bet there's a, a there's got to be some kind of loophole, which Jack already said Ashley was going to look for some type of loophole or something in there. And Tucker said, no, it looks like Diane, um, what she signed, she comes into the marriage with exactly what she leaves with. Maybe we should stop all this fighting because maybe she doesn't 
didn't come back to town to do anything to Tucker. I mean, to Tucker, to Jag. Maybe she just really loves him. And Ashley's like, I don't know. It just seems too convenient. I said, oh, God, let it go, girl. Let it go. And she said, it just seems too convenient and all of that. And so um, he just says, Look, can we just move out the house? He was like, you know, we've been living in the Abbott house. Let's go ahead and move out and, and do our own thing. Find us a place. And he, Tucker really wants to just move on. And Ashley's like, okay, but we're going to still look for a loophole in that uh, post note. And so they go to the house and they run into Diane and Jack. And uh, Billy had texted Jack and he said, I haven't heard anything from Ashley. And then... Um, Jack leaves a message talking about, well, just be on the lookout because I don't think she's it's over with yet or, or anything. I said, Ashley, getting her revenge right now, living rent free in your head. All y'all just living rent free in each other, rent free in each other's heads. But anyways, child. So they're just like, oh, okay. They um Tucker and excuse me, Jack leaves um Billy a message that just pretty much says, well, she, I know Ashley is not old, not over this, so she's going to be up to something. So just be on the lookout. And Diane is like, can we just let this go? I said, Diane and Tucker both saying, let it go. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what it means, child. I wish they would let it go too, because if Diane isn't still carrying some kind of secret, what we, what we doing? What we doing right now? What is the storyline doing? It, it, Anyways, let's move on. So Ashley and Tucker end up going um to the Abbott household and Diane and Jack were like honeymoons over already. And they said, No, we just can't get our stuff, we're leaving. And then uh D Ashley is like, and Jack, how how um how long did it take you to force Diane to sign that post up? And they said, Oh, actually, Diane was the one who wanted to do it. Y'all, congratulations and have a good day. And they walked out the room. <laughs> I said, Ashley crack face <laughs> because you look silly and you know Ashley is my girl but you look silly right there like let it go girl let it go and so anyways they walk out the house and Ashley like I'm not buying it and Tucker is just like I don't care let's get our stuff and go and so anyways then we go over here and we see oh, Sally and Adam so she letting Adam know that Victor played her. He's not trying to do the whole um, uh, interior design division. He told her there would never be one. And now she all messed around and messed up her deal. See, Chloe told your butt she messed up her deal with um, Chancellor Winters because they went with another firm that Victor recommended. Sally told your butt not to do it. She told you. Not, not Sally. Chloe told you not to do this, Sally. She told you stop playing with Victor. Stop doing this. And now, you, now you out of a job, and you gonna have to start. How long can this girl be out of work? She has not worked in a minute, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. She hasn't worked in a long time. I, Chloe got a man. Well, I guess Sally got a, two rich ones that would take care of her too. And she said, it's all because of you, Adam. Like something, see, and she said, but I felt like it was a bigger scheme going on. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. I said, he said, he's doing this to put me in my place, to show me he controls everything. And that's why I, I don't care what people say. I do not like Victor. <laughs> I do not like Victor. Like there's no reason. He, he tells them, I'm going to let you run the company. Um, he doesn't want to run the day to day, but Victor runs the company. And I know people are like, well, remember he said he was going to start taking over again. He never was not in control. He was never not in control of the company. Even when Victoria wanted to make moves, she still had to get Victor's permission to do it. That's why it was such a shock when she went ahead and signed the paper for Ashlyn to be part of the company or whatever. Because that was the one time she didn't get Victor's permission to do something. And look how it turned out. He's always controlling. The, he's so like, who would want a father like that? It's just man, a manipulator. And it's emotional abuse, mental abuse. And so, anyways, Adam tells Sally she's he's sorry. And she said, you know what? Don't even worry about it. I'm, you know, I'm gonna figure this out. Like I always do. We got this. And anyways, they go on about their business because she's not gonna work for you, Adam. Just stop asking the girl. So then um we see Chelsea and Connor. Connor is in a mood. 
he don't want to talk to Chelsea. So Billy talks to him and then he finds out that through Connor that Connor is tired of going to school because his parents is making his life hard. He got his daddy who all who's always in trouble and they're probably like, your daddy do this and your daddy do that. And then he got Chelsea who's having, you know, she had her mental issues. And so he's having a tough time at school because he's being, he's like, he tried to defend them, but he's being ganged up on and bullied. And so he like, I don't want to be here no more. So he talks to Billy and it seems to go well. And then the next thing you know, uh, Chelsea's like, is everything okay? And he was like, it looks like he's being bullied. And then she gets a phone call from her mama, Anita. And Anita said, Carter said he want to come stay with me. And so now Chelsea's like, oh my gosh, let me go talk to him, right? She'll go upstairs and look, Connor is gone. He said, oh, I'm not asking. I'm telling you I'm coming to stay with you, Anita. And I'm not even telling my mama them. So then the next thing we see, Chelsea's running all over the place because she's scared her child is gone. And then Adam shows up and Chance shows up and they're like, just calm down, Chelsea. He couldn't have gotten far. And Chance says they unblocked off all the buses and any way, any route out he could have gotten, uh, he could have went to. And so then the next thing we know, Adam gets a, Adam receives a call and um Adam receives a call and it's Sally. Now, Sally was still in the park where she had spoke to Adam earlier when she runs up on Connor and he tells her, he tells her he going to a friend's house and she said, no, nah, I know they wouldn't have let you go to it. This is what she thinking. She doesn't tell Connor this. Now, nah, I know they wouldn't have let you go to a friend's house without one of them because, mm-mm. So she already know what it is. So she talks to Connor and everything and he asks her how she's doing. But Connor's real sweet. He asks her how she's doing with the baby. And all of that. And she tells him she's doing all right. You know, it was hard at first, but she's doing better. So then she asks him and he doesn't want to talk about it. So she says, um, you know what? Can you give me a water? And so when he gets her water, she calls Adam and she lets Adam know that she has Connor. So she and Connor continue to talk and he tells her, you know, about, you know, school being tough, just everything being tough. And she tells him, you know, you need to talk to your parents. You need to talk to the people who love you, even when it's hard. And she tells him how she had to start talking to people about the baby. And she didn't want to be asked questions either. And they bond or whatever, because they always had like a nice little friendship relationship. So then after that, we see she tells him that she did call his dad and they're waiting for him at the coffee house and she could walk with him if he like. He was like, all right, cool. So then we go back over here and Chelsea's like, I need to go to my son because Adam tells them that Sally has Connor and he tells her, no, I don't think we should do that. I think we should let him come because, you know, we should let him come to us because, um, give Sally some time to talk him into coming back home because he was trying to run away or whatever. And so she's like, they're like, okay. And so they see Connor and everything. And, and little boy just, he don't want to be with y'all no more. He, he wants to be with, he wants to start fresh. He doesn't, he, ta he tells Chelsea them this. He tells her he wants to start fresh and he doesn't want to be in Genoa City anymore. He wants to be with Anita so he can start school and nobody knows who his parents are really. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. Y'all, that was the Young and the Restless today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you Monday for an all-new episode of What Happened on the Soaps, the Young and the Restless edition. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.